This tree needs to come down. It's ugly, it's unhealthy. Look at the branches on the top. They're just going every which way. This tree is about ready to die anyway in the first place. It's hard to get a trailer back here and even a vehicle around on this old road. So this tree needs to come down. Let me show you how to do it. Check this out right here. I cut the bottom of this off. I don't want this tree, this one coming down on me as I'm cutting it down. So now this tree's not coming towards me. Let's make a notch. I want to fell it this way. Hopefully this one doesn't go down onto the fence. So I'm gonna pull it over at the same time. Good notch here, nice and flat. This can go either way. This angle could be at the bottom called a, a Humboldt notch. This is a conventional notch. Go about a third of the way in, and then a nice angle coming in from the top. So as it hinges down, it can fall far enough before this part touches the bottom, and then breaks your holding wood on the inside. So this notch is opening exactly where I want it to go. You need to have that lined up exact. And you use the gunning sight of your chainsaw, which is this line right here, which is perpendicular. As I'm making my initial cut in, it's going, that's the way the tree is gonna be falling. Now we need to make the back cut. That's our holding wood right here, not very much. This is a little bit high to be particular about it. It could be down another couple inches or so, but it's pretty close. So I kept looking on the other side because you don't want to go too far. You don't want to cut through your holding wood.
So a couple options I can do now is get a couple more wedges, put it inside there. So you get a lot more lifting power when you stack them on top and you get bigger height too. So everything worked as planned. This is about the minimum amount of holding wood that you want. This is only about an inch, maybe an inch and a half over here, but about an inch the whole way. If I would have cut all the way through, you lose control of the tree and you could kick back. It could go in different spots. It won't fall the way you want it to fall. So this tree right here was helping to hold things up. A lot of weight on that side. All these goofy branches and all this weight on the back side of the tree. This is kind of like a hardwood tree that you find out in the Midwest or different spots. A lot of times you'll have a bunch of big, huge, heavy branches on one side really holding you up and causing a big problem. So now from here, you gotta carefully take the limbs off. These limbs are big. This one over here comes out this way and curves back. You don't want that to fall on top of you. That limb itself is a few hundred pounds. So you gotta be real careful and always be cognizant of what's going on. See this chain just about skipped off. And so that can happen just by a branch hitting it, something like that. That's why you want to make sure that you have this aluminum piece on the bottom. So if the chain does come off, it immediately gets stopped by that. Tighten the chain up slightly. Now there's a less of a chance of that happening. Man, I don't like that branch right there. See how it's curved back. So I'm just gonna cut that down just like it's another tree. So you wanna make a cut first on the compression side. Relieve the compression strength there and then come on the back side so it doesn't split in half and come up and hit you. You also want to make sure you have good escape routes as well. Look at this branch. It just grew completely in a circle. Gnarly, crooks everywhere. Let me know if you think I should make something with this. And let me know what. Just a little bit at a time. Take your time. So as branches are leaning over, there's putting compression on the bottom forces. You want to cut until that just starts to close and just starts to pinch your saw. So stop right before it pinches it, and then you come to the backside and cut it from there. That's the safest way to do it. That prevents the wood from splitting out and possibly hitting you. Your compression and tension forces are always gonna be changing each time you cut a chunk off. So you have to be reassessing.
cut through these most of the way, then roll it over and cut it back in. Then you're not cutting into the dirt. There we go, all cleaned up. Clean up all these logs, move them out of the way, bring a trailer, truck in, move them to where they need to go, burn the brush. We'll see you on the next one, keep surviving.